What's up everybody? Thank you for visiting me on YouTube. We're back in Five Oaks, but this time we're in another district of Five Oaks. This is called Grafton Hill. I'm going to take you through a brief tour of this area. We're on Kenwood Avenue. I want y'all to look at this area for yourselves and judge it on how nice you think Dayton is. We're approaching the old Chaminade School. Dayton Public Schools has purchased this school and now they're threatening to close it down. Many residents want this school to be up and running, but it's a matter of Dayton Public Schools decision making in order to keep this school from going down. And that's by the wrecking ball, of course. Over here, that's Corpus Christi Elementary School. It's a Catholic and Christian based school. I apologize, I also hit potholes on this road, which Dayton is known for, being a poor town, of course. Mary Queen of Martyrs and Corpus Christi exist over on this side of town. We're approaching Forest Avenue right now. I'm turning right and we'll head down Forest Avenue for a few miles. Over here, this is the Grandview Hospital. Charles Kettering and his family own this property. It's part of the Kettering Medical Center chain of network hospitals. This is an African American church that was closed up recently due to a foreclosure issue. Now, we're on Grand Avenue. We're gonna turn left on Belmont Park Boulevard. Remember I told you that a lot of Dayton, Dayton communities have tree line boulevards? Well, here's an example of a tree line community. Around this circle we're approaching Plymouth Avenue and Superior. On your left is the Greek Orthodox Church. That's cool, ain't it? Oh, I'm sorry. That's the Masonic Temple over there. I don't want to forget that. And of course, Dayton's Art Institute. Isn't that beautiful? Many famous artists reside in the Dayton Art Institute. And of course, you know, the skyline of Dayton. Over here, there's some road construction going on. The Dayton View Bridge is being torn up. They're replacing the bridge. Ain't that cool? That's Premier Health Center. That's the Cancer Research Center. 
Now we're on Central Avenue. That's Longford. That's the temporary home of most of the high school students from Patterson. This used to be a women's health center where Dayton public students who were mainly women who had to go through this school when they had to deal with teen pregnancy. I'm not clear on the issue, but if y'all have any information about it, give me some feedback. This is a beautiful part of Dayton right here. This is Grafton Hill. A lot of historical houses. As I explained earlier in the last postings, Dayton is the 15th largest city with home foreclosures. This city is most likely going to vote in the general vote for one of the Democratic candidates because it seems like Everywhere I go, I see either an Obama or Hillary Clinton flag or one of those signs out there showing their affiliation. See? Dayton Mayor Ryan McGlynn endorsed Senator Barack Obama after Barack Obama carried Montgomery County by an overwhelming 70%. Although she is a she met Hillary Clinton and Senator Obama and also Senator McCain and the President of the United States, George W. Bush. Ryan McGlynn has to take the, the steps of what her, her constituents, as in the people of Dayton. If they voted for Obama, she'll have to endorse them. Well, anyway, I'm back on Grand Avenue. And I'm going to give you a few more buildings. That's the Christian Science Academy. Again, Grandview Hospital. Once again, we're approaching Forest Avenue. And in the clearance, Interstate 75. Thank you for visiting me on YouTube. I'll catch you on the next one.